What's up guys, Deity Cthulhu here, back at you with another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. In today's video, we're going to be starting a new segment. It's going to be called Sweats vs. Sweats. In Sweats vs. Sweats, in the series, it's going to be whenever I'm in a six-man and we versus six-man that is clearly sweating. Um, I, unfortunately, I wasn't recording when this took place, so I just bookmarked the game and I thought I'd do some commentary over it. I already knew something was going to be up when I went into game chat because I noticed they all had mics and they were sitting there saying, you know, little, little sly comments like, oh, they're going to all use VMPs and sit on head glitches, watch. And say, oh, they're going to sweat. And I I made sure I went in there before the game started. And I told them, look, guys, that's not how we play. We rush. We run around. We communicate. So um, it, it didn't really make a difference. They still ended up sweating. So it was a bit of a mood point. So, yeah. All right. Let's uh, view this game, shall we? So the match we're going to be playing is Team Deathmatch Core. On slums. I think I'll do something a little different. We're going to go ahead and watch this in third person. So, before we kick this video off, the team that I'm playing with is X Master, Juicy, not pronouncing the other part, uh, III, we call him Barcode, Go Crazy, aka Carter, H2O. Both of these guys are clan mates. Um, H2O's name's Oscar and me. Uh, for the enemy team, they're just them. <laughs> All right, so let's get this match started. I would like to show off the operators once everybody picks it. I'll probably do that as soon as it begins. Oh, geez, Louise, that was taking forever. Okay, so for our operators, aka specialist, uh, we had a fire break. We had a Reaper, we had a Crash, we have a Zero, and a Prophet, and my main, Recon. They have a Battery, Crash, Nomad, Reaper, Firebreak, Torque, which later turns into a Double Nomad. Probably to get the dogs. Alright, let's go. So the first thing I always end up doing is I either... It depends what side we go on. I always push this side of the map and try to get control over mid because it's upper ground. And when you're on a higher level, obviously, you have a little bit of a head glitch opportunity on the fountain and a little bit of protection. But you can also see the guys a lot easier. Uh, minus if they jump over the wall and they already know where you're at on the opposite side near the house. But... Um, the gun that I'm using, in case you are curious, is going to be the Cordite Zero Gravity Double FMJ Belt Fed um, Engineer Dead Silence Lightweight with the Comsec device so I can get my streaks a little easier because this is a very, very, very aggressive class. A lot of people don't expect someone to be this aggressive. It's high risk, high reward. So uh, it works. I highly recommend this setup. For anybody who is curious. Alright, so we go on the mount or the fountain, sorry. Already got one. I cross over, clear the house, both dead. I walk on the left hand side. I already knew they were pushing out, so we get that guy. It does a lot of damage with double FMJ. You do increase damage, but it also helps when they hide behind walls cars and wear body armor you wear body armor double fmj it does not matter it, it really doesn't you're still gonna absolutely clap them all right so we already got a uav it's about 50 seconds in i'm trying to wall bang them that's how i typically end up doing it you'll see in a lot of my gameplay that i just absolutely destroy people just by doing that all right hop over the wall because i had a feeling they were going to try and come over on the left hand side couldn't get anybody, so I go on the far left for a flank. Works like a charm. I'm 60 points off from a sniper's nest at this point. Got that guy. Got the sniper's nest. Got a sniper's nest about a minute and 10 seconds in. Not bad at all. As I told you, comsec really helps. We are 95 points off from a strike team at this point. Go in. Got him. And... 
strike team. I got really greedy right here. As you can see, they were all right there. They were already waiting for me. My mistake is, as you could tell, I have a teammate on the left-hand side, but I we were doing call-outs, but at that exact time, I got super greedy. I just rushed out there. Doesn't make sense. I could have started re-rolling streaks. It, I, I don't know. I got really greedy right there, and I got slapped. All right, so not a bad start. Not at all. Already got full streaks. Going to be rushing the left-hand side. Got that guy. They uh, Something to really pay attention to in this gameplay is they destroyed my streaks as I got them. Um, that's also how you know it's a sweaty lobby. Sweats are going to go out of their way to destroy all your streaks. So you can't get extra kills on them. So all the power to them. But it just solidifies the fact that I said they were sweating. All right, let's keep going. Got that guy. All right, so I'm zoning the spawn just a little bit. Just a little bit. So since I'm running Engineer, I know whenever they have shields, ammo, all that. Don't know how I lost that fight. Oh, never mind. It was a Reaver. So a guy got salty, started using a Reaver. Power to him. You need a one-shot kill weapon to get a kill at all. Hey, whatever. whatever. You just do you, man. All right, so a lot of people do not understand that this wall can be jumped over. It is great for flanking. It's great for getting up behind people, just surprising them, just getting up in their face. Use this wall. If you don't use this wall in slums, you are already making a grave mistake that could be helping you out and your teammates. It's a great flanking route, especially S&D, the whole nine yards. All right, let's keep going. All right, everyone's right here. I'm waiting for backup. Got three, no, two people. All right, so I knew the spawn was right here, so I got hyper aggressive. I shouldn't have. I got greedy again, so slap on the back of the neck for that one. So, as you can see, it didn't end well with me. The problem that I had is that they had just gotten TAC 5 right when I pushed that. So if they didn't get TAC 5, I probably could have killed most of them, if not all of them. All right, got my ulti. Uh, just was not using cover very well at all. So we weren't really grouping, but we were watching all the different ways for them to flank for the most part. And I was going out of my way to uh, outflank the enemy if they did find a flank route, which is what I did numerous times like this. They were trying to collapse on the left-hand side of my team. I didn't really want them to do that. So one thing you'll definitely see me do with this Cordite class is just pop out at people. They don't know what to do. They might get a couple shots off, but 99% of the time, they're already dead. Double FMJ on this is three bars increased damage and then max damage whatever you have going on. It doesn't matter. It's also really good for taking out barbed wire, microwaves, the whole nine yards. All right, so I got crossbowed again. So, I'm getting a little annoyed at this part, but whatever. All right, no more pauses, promise. All right, I had Engineer on, and I just was not paying attention. That's my fault. I hit that tripwire, just being a complete idiot. So, what you'll see when I run double FMJs, I'll go up to a wall, and if I hear somebody on the other side, I'll just spray it. Um, since it's maximized damage through walls, people don't understand that. They'll be like, what the hell just happened? Well, you just got annihilated from double FMJ. As you can see, I got up in their flank again. I didn't see the guy creeping up on the left hand side. He absolutely got me. Uh, I got trapped in the spawn by this guy. My teammates didn't call that they flipped it. So, uh... As a group, we messed that one up. Got that radar shroud. All right, so they are running at this point double nomad. 
I killed the first dog right off the back. They call in the second one shortly after. Um, my recon darts were undoubtedly on point this entire match. Recon is a great, great, great specialist. Um, I prefer the non-aggressive uh, ones because I feel like it's too easy to get free kills. So that dog, I don't know what's going on. The dogs are on balance. You guys know this. They're one tap. Okay, they still don't do too much. They have messed up AI. thing that's super annoying, though, is the amount of health they have. It makes no logical sense what they were trying to I don't know what they were trying to get. Uh, they never done a dog that tanks that much damage in any other game. So the team's zoning right now on their side. Uh, I knew there was a bunch of people there. So I wanted to flank. Got the flank off. Took a couple shots. But I got out of there fast enough. Teammate comes in clutch with the double attack five. I don't know where I was going with that. UAV. So the team ended up getting a thresher. Um, my boy Carter, aka Go Crazy, ended up saving the entire match when he um, destroyed it. Uh, it just goes to show you that you're never truly done with a match. You can be as close as possible, and then that happens. Um, it's weird because I heard Thresher, and it immediately just dive-bombed us. Now, the saving grace of this entire match, uh, it could have been completely different. We still probably would have won. Who knows? Threshers can do some pretty crazy things, as you guys know. Is My, my buddy, Carter, a.k.a. Go Crazy, already had his hacking in the back pocket. So he was sitting on it a good 30, not 30, a uh, good two to three minutes in case they got something like that. So what I'm doing at this point and what the rest of the team is doing, we're protecting him. We're making sure that they don't kill him while he's doing it. He wanted to get in uh, cover. He started hacking. At this point, he already has it done before I call in my ulti. So that was the last kill. Bada bing, bada boom. The good thing about this team is they were not being toxic. I went in, I told them, hey, that was a great game. The guys, One of the guys said, no, I got dumpstered. You completely shit on me. And I told him, no, not at all. It was a close game. You guys played great. It was a pleasure. And I thank them for a good match. I, uh, I know everybody has their fair share of love. For pub stomping but at the end of the day this game starts to get really unfun when you don't get at least some challenging lobbies everyone's gonna lobby surf everyone's gonna enjoy bot lobbies whatever it just happens that's just part of call of duty but when i get a team like this once in a while i absolutely love it um hey shout out to anybody on this enemy team you come across this video you guys did a good job. It was a very entertaining match. Thank you. I appreciate it. 37 and 12, 3 OKD. Not bad at all. Got a lot of damage. You're going to probably be on top of the leaderboard with score and damage 90% of the time using this class because it just destroys everything. It doesn't matter what it is, except streaks, obviously. Don't stand out in the open against a sniper's nest like, oh, I got double FMJ. Ha ha ha. It doesn't work like that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to see some new faces around my channel. Till next time, guys. Peace.